Nerd Movie Fans, Scott Movie Mance here with my review of Nomadland, which is having its premiere at the Venice Film Festival, the Toronto Film Festival, and even Telluride, sort of. They had a very special screening at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. And great thing, too, because Nomadland is a film that needs to be seen by as many movie lovers as possible. And it is a film that is destined to be part of the Oscar conversation from now until the Academy Awards, which is in April of 2021. The film was based on the book by Jessica Bruder, and it's directed by Chloe Zhao. It's her follow-up to 2018's wonderful, terrific, but little seen film, The Rider. Nomadland plays to her strengths as a poetic, exquisitely crafted, and engrossing character study of a complex woman who takes the road less traveled with her unconventional lifestyle. Two-time Oscar winner Frances McDormand plays Fern, a widow who lives life on her own terms, living in her van, taking on odd jobs where she can, embracing a community of fellow van dwellers, and living a life of complete freedom. But that freedom does come at a price. She's barely surviving financially, she's at the mercy of the elements, and she spends a lot of time alone. Now that's not to say that she's lonely, because when she has the chance to embrace human companionship on a permanent basis, she turns it down in favor of going her own way. Now Nomadland is not a film with a clearly defined narrative plot. It's more of a slice of life drama about an overlooked community of roamers who are barely scraping by and the film feels very fitting during these very challenging times. Director Chloe Zhao effectively conveys the atmosphere and the mood with a somber and melancholy film. You can feel the loneliness, you can feel the solitude, and there's an underlying sadness to the whole thing, but there's also a magic to it because the film is poignant, it's profound, it's uplifting in its own unique way, and the film really does stay with you. And of course, Frances McDormand is absolutely magnificent. She's at the top of her game with a performance that's strong, that's empathetic, that's really touching, and she's a woman who's in full command of her own destiny, and she's willing to do whatever it takes to follow that destiny. McDormand is going to get nominated again for sure. Nomadland is being released by Searchlight Pictures in December. This is the studio behind the Oscar-winning Best Pictures, Slumdog Millionaire, 12 Years a Slave, Birdman, and The Shape of Water. Looks like they have another contender on their hands with Nomadland, and that is a very good thing. If you like this video, please give it a like, please share it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back soon with more reviews, so until then, here's looking at you, kid.